Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you the integration between uh, the Visual Engine and HTrace and uh, maybe you might know what the Visual Engine is or you might know what HTrace is so uh, let's see uh, what each of them does or maybe you know about so the Visual Engine is a set of shaders and tools designed to uh, unify assets from the Unity Asset Store uh, and once they are uh, using the visual engine shaders you can enable seasons wind and a bunch of other settings uh, actually features and htrace is a voxel based real-time gi solution for uh, unity's hdrp and uh, with the htrace integration these two uh, assets will work together seamlessly okay and uh, let's look at this uh, small scene i created for the htrace trace integration you will see that uh, i can change the seasons and htrace will um, accurately uh, represent the scene and the gi for the visual engine materials if i disable the support now the scene is only getting real-time gi uh, if the objects are in view you can see it over here uh, it is getting uh, some gi but once the objects are outside the view like uh, those uh, emissive sticks when they are not in the view we don't get any uh, type of uh, real-time gi on these objects in the back so uh, if i enable the support now uh, the GI is working properly for the entire scene. We can see the nice orange coloring from the, the leaves on these spheres. And if I go to uh, winter, now everything is uh, colored in this uh, whitish uh, color. And um, this scene for this scene i used some elements uh, to change the season and also to change the emissive so for the emissive i used this uh, uh, this glow emissive element and in the in in the winter it is set to black so if i change it to some uh, pink color and uh, make it brighter you will see that uh, even if those sticks are behind the wall, the objects are colored. Okay, so uh, let's see how uh, everything is working behind the scenes. I will open a uh, simpler scene. And uh, show you how uh, Unity's Screen Space GI is working, how HTrace is working, and then how TV is working together with uh, HTrace with the HTrace integration. So, um, first of all, I have this uh, simple uh, uh, object over here and a sphere. And uh, with HDRP, we can enable the screen space GI. And once this is enabled, we get some nice uh, GI on this sphere. But once the object, once the, the normal of this wall is not in the view anymore, the sphere is not getting any illumination. With HTrace GI, once I enable it, it doesn't matter if the object is outside the view, it is still getting real-time GI because hTrace 
uh, is voxelizing the scene and uh, if I go to this debug mode over here and enable the voxelized color, you can see how HTrace is seeing the world and uh, if you go to voxelized lighting, you can see how do those uh, voxels are working to illuminate the scene. Okay, so let's switch. This is using now the uh, HDRP lit material. If I change it to some red color, the GI is uh, turning red. Okay, so let's switch to uh, the TV shade, a TV shader, and let's see how uh, the GI is working. So I will uh, switch to the general uh, standard lead shader and everything is working properly. But for instance, uh, if I want to um, add overlay uh, to this wall, let's, let me change the color to, to red. actually in the main settings so we can see the effects better if I enable the overlay which is used for snow and I will go to the global settings and enable the overlay everything is colored in white and even if I uh, if the, the, this face is not in view, the uh, sphere is lit properly. This is happening because uh, on the wall material, we have this, uh, these meta settings and the meta is enabled. If I disable it, if the wall is in view, the sphere is getting uh, screen space GI, but once it is not in view, it is getting the main color from here. If I change it to green, it is getting this green color. The main settings are uh, recon rec recognized by uh, HTrace because the internal naming uh, actually, TV is storing some legacy properties uh, for various effects and uh, by coincidence, uh, they are uh, the same as HTrace is using internally, so that's why it is working. Um, and I will enable back this... Uh, this meta, uh, the meta settings. Uh, but what if uh, for this snow, I will use this uh, projection mask and I will only add snow uh, on the top parts of the normal map. Now, if the object is not in view, this sphere is becoming white. That's because uh, the meta settings, the, the HTrace integration is only creating a super low fidelity uh, representation of the material to make the rendering uh, for the voxeliz voxelization as fast as possible. So, uh, for H trace, the object is looking like this. If I disable the overlay, it is looking like this. So what you can do for this wall, for instance, uh, you can go and lower the overlay, the meta overlay value. Uh, let me go back to the to this and now the object is receiving the uh, original color before the 
uh, overlay is applied. If uh, we increase the overlay a bit, we can also increase this overlay a bit more just to make it uh, work a bit better. Okay, and uh, let me show you another scene which is a bit more complex uh, and it is uh, the, this layered uh, scene. And in this layered scene, on the TV material, I have two layers. I have the main layer, which is just the, the white bricks, because I set the albedo of this one uh, to zero. And I have the uh, layer settings enabled uh, for this uh, rainbow uh, decal, let's say. I just uh, made it colored so we can see the, the colors better on the spheres. And on the meta settings, only the dynamic settings uh, can be uh, adjusted. Uh, the main layer, the, the layer settings, the detail settings, the occlusion, the gradient are usually uh, static, uh, static settings which are not changing over time or they are not changing with seasons so i consider them uh, the surface settings and for the rest these are the dynamic settings and uh, what i did in this case uh, i added support to be able to use uh, for the albedo texture on the the met on the meta settings uh, i added support uh, to use the light map uv and i baked this texture in the light map uh, uv i wrote myself myself a uh, script to pre-bake the entire material to a texture and uh, on the meta settings, I enabled, in, instead of using uh, the settings sync with material, which is syncing the, the main layer, the, the layer settings, the detail settings, uh, depending on which one is enabled, instead of uh, syncing uh, the albedo from those layers, you can override, override them and add uh, another texture, if I add uh, this texture for instance, these spheres will get the coloring from this texture, whatever that uh, might be. Okay, this is yellowish, so it is, it is getting the color from that uh, yellow texture and in edge trace, if I enable the voxel color, we can see that uh, texture over here. Okay, so back to the wall, back to the meta settings. Uh, I have this wall uh, proxy texture, which is uh, set to this light map UV. And now, uh, those uh, objects are getting the correct color from the wall. This is not a uh, super usual uh, setup. For instance, you might have some uh, moss uh, set like this, but with moss and a wall, uh, actually, let's do it. Let's add some moss. So I have this moss and instead of using this mask, I will uh, simply use the base mask, uh, which is the uh, height map from the main shader texture. And 
I will remap it and invert it. And uh, okay, now we have this mass. What we can do uh, is to simply go over here and instead of using this texture, I can simply set a color or pick a color from here. Maybe something more green. Okay, greenish color. And now the objects uh, are picking up uh, a super low representation of this wall, which is a greenish uh, color. Okay, and uh, how to enable the support for uh, uh, for the H trace integration, you will need to go to, uh, first of all, you will need to have the uh, H trace integration module, which is a separate asset on the Unity Asset Store. And on the H trace asset, you will need to go to uh, resources, includes, and it, in the voxelization stages, you will need to enable this evaluate uh, TV to set it to one. If, it's, if it is set to zero, it is not getting uh, any GI from uh, TV. So we will need to set it to one. And what I also included in the TV integration in the shaders includes folder, we have this tv htrace uh, config file and in the config file if you don't use uh, some of the features from tv you can simply disable them you can simply set if you don't use any of the dryness uh, or if you don't use dryness in any of the the materials you can set it to zero and save the file and uh, that's it however in my tests uh, with all the features enabled enabled or with all the features disabled the performance in my case at least is the same um, and i don't have a beefy gpu uh, i'm using a gtx uh, 2060 which is quite old and uh, not not uh, super powerful but i added these options uh, just in case if you don't uh, use any or uh, some of these features, simply set them to, ze to, to zero. It is better to not calculate them uh, and uh, spend uh, that time timing on something else. Okay, so I think I covered everything. Uh, thanks for watching.